Hi guys, I'm Ryan Newsman and welcome to my flight hunting channel. If you haven't already done so, consider hitting the subscribe button down below. Uh, that'll keep you up to date with everything as I upload it. Uh, my channel already contains hundreds of videos covering a wide range of both patterns and techniques from the basic to the more advanced. Uh, so without delay, let's get on with the show. Hi guys. So uh, we'll tie a salmon fly tonight. So previously you've seen me tie Greenwood's Claret Shrimp. Uh, on a hook. So tonight we're going to turn it into the cone body style of, of tube fly. So here I have maybe 25 mil or so of uh, black 1.8 mil inner tubing and I've flared the end of it with the lighter. So I'm going to push back say 20-ish mil of the uh, of a black outer over that and then I'm going to use it strong thread here one that doesn't hopefully break because I'm wrapping it to sort of compress this outer tubing onto that inner tubing so I haven't got just within a couple of wraps of the flare what I'm going to do is to tie in two strands of pearl crystal hair on my side and I'm going to take the loop of that cross, tie it in so that there are two strands on the other side. So what I want them to do is to separate these out so that they're not tight to each other and then tie it back to the flare. I'll cut those off so that seem like so that'll give me a sort of like a, a splay of the crystal here. So, uh, what I'm going to do now is put on a couple of turns of a gold oval. That's to act like a butt. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to just run my super glue on it. So that as I wrap it, it'll strengthen the attachment to the tube. So, trim that off. Next we're going to put on a golden pheasant breast feather that has been dyed in a claret. Color. So I'm going to trim off the fluff, or strip off the fluff, sorry. Find the center of it. Tie that in tight up to our butt. Fold it back. And then we're going to double that between my finger and thumb as I wrap it. And because of the nature of these feathers you'll be lucky if you get two turns out of it. Tie the stock end of it further forward here. So now I'm gonna attach bit of a wider gold oval here and then I'm going to tie all that in tight back to the wraps of the golden pheasant breast feather and now I'm going to use I'm going to double body and for the body I'm going to use like a, a light claret maybe even slightly magenta seal. 
take a bunch of that. Put that onto our wax thread and twist it to create our dubbin rope. Wrap this forward over the outer section till we get to that front there. Then we wrap the gold oval about three turns. Tie it off. I find with tubes, because they're plastic and they can move, I always like to either fold back my tie-ins or glue them because the nature of these things is that because they're plastic they can bend and to me there's a chance then that things could pull, could pull out, so I just prefer to do it. So, middle hackle, I'm going to use a dark claret. It's a dark claret Chinese cock cape. Like out a feather, and I'm looking for one here. That's long enough, maybe longer than you'd expect in the fiber. You'll see why in a second. So I'm just going to double this over. Now I have uh, in the info button that you may see in the corner. There should be a link to my techniques section or playlist. And if you look through there, you'll find a video on doubling hackles. So, tied in by its tip, I'm going to wrap this on. Then we jump off the step onto the inner tube. Continue to wrap. You can see now the fibers that are quite long. And it looks not overly neatly wrapped, but don't worry about that. Take a turn to the front of it. The front of the body is going to be the black cone and the black cone will push back and control all of those wraps that you put on. So I'll just pull those back. I'm going to add some super glue there and then take my cone pusher and just push the cone back so that it the cone is actually the recess of the cone is probably over the uh, the outer tubing to a certain degree, and then we trim off our tie and thread nice and close. So, body is done. Next, we'll swap to a thinner thread. This is a six o anvils, and to finish the fly, what we need is jungle cock eyes and also um, a white badger hackle. So I'm going to take two jungle cock feathers here and I'm just going to strip off the bases of them. I'm going to tie one in on each side. Now I'm tying it in just on the little white enamel portion. I'm tying them in on the side because as a tube fly and because it doesn't have a wing you can never be sure which way it's going to choose to swim. So I think with that respect it's probably better to put the uh, eyes on the side as much as possible. So those are sitting in place. There's only a couple of turns holding them there. Uh, and now what we need to do is to get a white badger hackle. Again, fold it and double it. Tying on in our tube in here, so we're going to get more turns out of our hackle. So just gauge it for how uh, dense or otherwise you want your fly. And 
and wrapped it on. Take a turn or two across it to hold it. Fold it back. I'm trying to create as little head here as possible. Fold the jungle cock eyes back and just get our thread in front of it. Then we trim off the stalk and we add on a silver hybrid cone. Leave that sitting on the front of the needle and then I'm just going to get a blob of super glue onto the head there and then we need to push that back to finish it. Now one of these is a brass tube I'm using here to push that back and I find it just gets it, gets it uh, firmer than uh, just using your fingers to push it back. Fly's finished. All I need to do now is trim it off, leave about two mil of the inner tube and hold it vertically. Get your lighter horizontal so the flame rises up. And then I'm just going to use a bodkin sort of thing just to make sure the hole is patent. So that is our Greenwoods Claret Shrimp as a cone body. So hopefully you like what you see. If you did, just like, subscribe, tell your friends, check out all the other videos that I've got on the channel. And until next time, tight lines, and thanks for watching.